Hey guys, welcome back to the Casual Puzzler. My name is Emily. We are in my car because I'm on my lunch break and I am going to Savers. So Savers is a thrift store near me that has a pretty decent puzzle and gaming section and I'm hoping to find a few things on my lunch break. Hoping for smaller puzzles like 500 pieces and under because I want to do another 12 hour puzzle challenge. So I need to kind of stock up on these smaller puzzles. So hopefully I find some good things. I'm going to bring you along with me and then after work I will be doing a haul with the things that I get hopefully and the things that I've gotten recently from other aspects like some purchases a lot of gifts uh, a couple swaps so I will show you all the new puzzles that are coming in and so let's go to savers so I just got here the parking lot looks nuts so maybe that's what everyone's doing on their lunch break back and it is actually the next day last night me and Dave went out to dinner came back late and didn't have time to film so I am sharing with you the things that I got from my thrift haul also some things that were gifted swaps purchases so we're just gonna go into all the puzzles I'm gonna show you what I'm looking at right now because it's kind of nuts on this office chair it's just like a huge stack of puzzles. I'm so excited to get started. All right, so let's just get into this. The first thing I'm going to show you is actually a game. Um, so whenever I go to Savers, I love to look at the games as well. And I did pick up one and then everything else in this video is puzzles. So I just wanted to show it to you because it's so quirky and it makes me happy. It's the Bob Ross party game and it's called Happy Little Accidents. And the beard is fuzzy like all this brown bit is fuzzy um, which just added to the appeal and I'm <laughs> excited to play this uh, with Dave it's also a party game so you can have up to 30 people I guess I don't know but I'm excited to do this one the next few are the puzzles that I got at Savers they didn't have a huge selection apparently it's the day that they put new stuff out and they put new Halloween stuff out so it's kind of nuts it was pretty picked over but I did find three and one I feel like was the star of the show. So the first one I have is from Springbok and I've been loving them and able to find them in Savers. It's 500 pieces. This one's called Colorful Fruit. Not quite my style, but I really want to experience the quality of the Springbok puzzles because whenever I see them online, they just look like super chunky pieces and I really want to try some. I do have one that's a Christmas one that I'm waiting and I kind of can't wait, so I'm excited to have a non-Christmassy one to do. So the next one I have is from MB and it's part of their Big Ben Lux line. I do have another one here somewhere that's also a Big Ben puzzle from MB that I got at Target. And there's a whole story with that one we'll go into in a bit. But this one is called, let me see, So this one is called Biking in Tuscany, and it's like this is really sweet, almost reminds me of that mystery puzzle that I did where it has that same type of, um, it has that same type of finish on the building and the same type of flowers, but it's 500 pieces. I feel like it's going to be a lot easier than that one, and I'm, I'm curious about doing some MB. I don't know what the Big Ben Lux means. Um, I haven't done their stuff in like decades so I am curious about them and if it works out that would be great because again I was able to find some in a Target near me. So the next one I have, the last thrifted puzzle, is one that I was so excited for and it is the Ibu 1000 piece unicorn puzzle which how cool so it's called Unicorn Garden it's a thousand pieces but it's a circular puzzle <laughs> my neighbor is leaving for work for the day so he's not seeing me cool all right so I haven't tried a thousand piece this big in a circular puzzle so I'm kind of excited to be honest it's not quite the one I would pick if I was on like the eboo website buying it new but for five bucks I thought it was a great deal and I'm excited to do this one 
Next, we have two that were gifts from a coworker. For some reason, I've never shared that I was making a YouTube channel with anybody, so I finally told some close friends and family, and now they all have the need to send me puzzles, um, which I'm not mad about. So she actually came in with some puzzles that she has done. She thought I would like them, so she gave them to me. Um, the first one, though, looks so hard. It is a panoramic puzzle. It is over three feet long, and then it's like a narrow puzzle. It's from the brand AB, which is Andrews and Blaine, and it is the Eiffel Tower. Oh, it's so glary, sorry. Um, but it's Eiffel Tower, but look how much dark blue and black there is. It's gonna be so crazy hard. I'm excited to do it because I have been to the Eiffel Tower before, but I'm also really nervous about doing it because it's gonna take me forever because it's a thousand pieces, and the amount of like, blue black I hope it's like I mean it does look like there's a little bit of a gradient but I'm sure like this area is just gonna be super hard so that one will be in like the forever future because I feel like I would never be brave enough to do it unless I was like on vacation or if it's one that was just like out somewhere for weeks at a time or we do like a few pieces here and there but that one looks so car crazy hard the second one that she gave me is a Thomas Kincaid Seiko puzzle or Keiko puzzle and it is 700 pieces. It's a Disney puzzle and it's one that has, hopefully you can see, um, we have Mickey and Minnie in like a Thomas Kincaid background. Super cute. She had saw my Disney week so she thought I would really love it. I really do and I mean Thomas Kincaid isn't quite my style but I do love Disney so I'm really excited about this one. The next the next two puzzles were actually a swap with a subscriber. Um, she showed me a picture of this one. I absolutely loved it and she wanted to give it to me. Ended up sending her one of mine and she ended up sending me two because she had a repeat puzzle. Um, and I'm excited for both of them. So this one here is from Hallmark. It's from their Heritage Collection and it's called Flight of Fancy and I love this design. It looks like wallpaper to me. It's the colors are what's like screams to me. It's a really nice box, really like sturdy box. Um, and it has like this pastel blue wallpaper situation with birds and butterflies. It has these cages and I just love this one a lot. So I'm so excited to have this and see what's about. The box seems really nice so I'm excited to break into this one. The other puzzle that she gave me is from Keiko or Seiko and it is 550 pieces. It's called What's Mew and it is a kitty. Look at this little kitten. I have had kitten fever like crazy right now but we're trying to not make Ziggy stress because he's getting up to his 22nd birthday which is this month so we're just waiting for whenever the time is right but I definitely have kitten fever and oh my gosh this little girl I'm guessing it's a girl because she has a little hat on oh my gosh I love it I'm happy to have found some smaller size puzzles because I do again want to do a 12 hour puzzle challenge so I have some really good options here next we have the target story so as you guys know my target does not carry puzzles neither does my Walmart really annoying I'm hoping it's just temporary but as of now I don't have puzzles in my Walmart but I, ha I don't have puzzles there but I did go to a different Target and they did have a very small tiny puzzle section so I'm hoping I'm crossing my fingers that my Target follows suit but I do know during their remodel they like changed their gaming puzzle section to Disney so I don't know if it's going to be coming back but I was excited while I was there I did pick up a puzzle from MB, also from their Lux line, I'm guessing, and it's foil. And just look how crazy. It's so fun. Um, so it's 500 pieces. It is called Country Market Painting, and I just, it looks so exciting. There's a whole line of them there, and I think I might buy more if I like this one, and I'm happy about that. The next few puzzles are ones that I did get from Puzzle Warehouse. This one is was on my wish list for a really long time. It's from New York Puzzle Company, which I feel like I need to do an updated wish list video because the last one was like months and months ago and my list has definitely grown since then. So this is called Guinness Times 
and it is a train almost reminds me of like hogwarts and it's this guy who's about to catch the basket of goodies up here so i think this would be really fun i really love new york puzzle company puzzles they have crazy cuts but really high quality and i am happy to finally have another one in my collection the next puzzle I have from Puzzle Warehouse, sorry, Oliver is underneath your tripod. He's also trying to get onto the puzzle chair. So there's just a lot happening in front of me right now. Can you not? Um, so this one here is by Ravensburger and it's a 3D puzzle, but look at this. It is a VW bu bus and I think the wheels actually turn, like is that actually, like the wheels turn, you can move it and it's plasticky pieces so it's supposed to stay together really well i got it because the um shells behind me i'm decorating so i thought this would be really fun to have there also just sounds fun uh it is 162 pieces i'm excited to build this oh yeah, yeah. okay the next one i got from puzzle warehouse is called uninvited guest I got it because of Halloween. It's 500 pieces. It's from Suns Out, which me and Suns Out haven't had the best experience. Their puzzle piece shapes are nuts. Um, but the last one I tried from them was a deer shaped puzzle with about 30 different deer inside of it. And it's really hard to, to decipher like color from one deer to the next. And there was no way to see which items were um, edge pieces. So it was crazy difficult. So I'm excited to have another option that's just like a normal rectangle and not a deer shaped puzzle with deer. Um, but it's called Uninvited Guest. I got it for Halloween and I'm gonna have to do it at an angle so it doesn't give you a giant glare. But it is this haunted house. The only colors in it are those two jack lanterns. Everything else is like a gray or like a light pale blue or black. So it looks crazy difficult, but it's 500 pieces. So I feel like it's doable and there's enough textures in there to get it done. So. I will be doing that one very shortly since it is Halloween time. And then this one my mom sent me because I was not feeling well and so she ended up sending me a puzzle to cheer me up and it reminds me of Maine, New Hampshire, New England, that's where I grew up. And this one's called Covered Bridge in Fall. It's called Covered Bridge in Fall, it's also by Suns Out and it looks so sweet. So excited to have this one, reminds me a little bit of home. Um, so that's it from this puzzle haul. I have a lot of new puzzles to do. I will have a lot of smaller puzzles, which I'm excited for because I will be doing a 12 hour puzzle challenge shortly. So thank you so much for tuning into this video and coming along with me thrifting and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.